Hello, Copic in the Craft Room friends. Michelle Houghton here. We've got a fun stamp from Tailored Expressions. I saw a card made from this adorable set that has these animal heads and then these messages, and I just could not resist getting this llama. You know me. So, I have the llama, and I have a moose and a bear and some other critters, and then these very fun greetings, and I've stamped it three times, doing my standard stamp mistakes. You can see on the one llama, I pressed too hard and did not do very well. But I also stamped the letters in some different colors for fun. So I have this group of E7s and some other earth tones that I'm going to use on my llama, and I am going to color him up. The nice part about this video, you're going to see this pretty fast here, is that... Um, I'm going to be able to keep it in real time because this is a really simple image to get colored up. So I'm going to use a squiggling stroke and I'm using my E70 to start. So I'm playing with adding music to the videos, especially on these that have some dead time in between me visiting with you. So you don't have to listen to me kind of drone on. Um, when I have tips, I will always throw them out there, but just in case there's some just straight coloring that gives you the opportunity of sitting back and having something other than dead silence. Um, so this base layer though of the E70 is going to go all over the llama and I'm putting it in these kind of squiggles or scribbles to get that curly texture going. And then on the face, I'm keeping that fur shorter. And so it's going to be smooth blending. So I'm flicking from the edges of the face inward, leaving some white, and then the base of the ears upward a little bit. And again, leaving some white at the tips of the ears. And I'm going to stay on those two areas here really quick and get those done first. So E71 is next, and you can see I'm coming in from under the eye, kind of down the jawline. I'm not trying to get this very dark, but I'm act, I'm trying to push back those edges so it has that rounded shape, th so the face kind of pops out at you a little bit as well. And then I'm coming back with E70 to smooth out the edge of that E71, flicking that into that white a little bit further. But he's still got that white kind of right over his muzzle and down in between his eyes just a little bit. Kind of re-darkening up those ears just a touch and bringing a little bit down now from the tips of the ears toward the center of the ears. I kind of making adjustments as I go and then adding that E71 right at the very base. For me, sometimes as I color, I decide, ooh, I need to push that further back and so I go back and add layers as I go. E93 is being added to the nose and onto those cheek areas. Obviously, a llama would not have rosy cheeks, but this one does. I think he just is screaming for that. And then I'm using the E93 to flick from the base of that inner ear outward. I'm not necessarily going all the way out, but I'm going right up to that edge. Colorless Blender comes in next. I'm pulling, pushing at that color from the tips of the ear down. So lightening up those kind of outer edges of the ear. And I'm going to come right into the center of that little face. I'm avoiding the nose because I colored that in with E93, but I'm going around that muzzle to soften the edges of the E70. A little bit of that E93, but kind of brightening up right at the center of his little face. Or her little face. I'm not sure why my llamas always become gentlemen, but they seem to. E04 is going on the edges of the nose, kind of around the bottom edge and sides, and then E93 to smooth that out. E71 is now coming back in on the texture. So I'm still using that little squiggly stroke or scribble stroke coming in from the edges and moving in 
on his bangs or this little tuft kind of coming down over his face. I hope you can kind of see this. I'm creating these lines. I am kind of looping my marker and creating these rows to kind of make it look almost like a dreadlock around kind of coming down over his face. And with this E71, I'm not going all the way with the heavy texture in toward the center of his neck. I'm doing a few little broken pieces in the center, but I'm keeping the squiggles more toward the edges of the body. Again, this is pushing those edges away from the viewer and showing the depth of kind of that face popping out, the roundness of the neck, that cylinder shape. I am going to come in with an E74 as well. This is going to stay way out toward those edges again. It's going to come under the chin, but this really isn't going to come across those lighter areas. It's going to come underneath the fringe. It's going to create a cast shadow actually underneath the bangs or that tuft that comes across the face. Little squiggles around the edge and under the chin. I'm going to use some small touches of E77 as well. This is very limited and I'm really almost doing just dots at this point versus the squiggles. So it's a very limited amount. I'm kind of defining some of those curls around the edges of the llama and then coming underneath the chin to create that deeper shadow. really pushing forward that face by going around the edge of the face a little bit and underneath kind of the brim of that front little tuft. And most of the time I leave um, that texture as is. If you wanted to soften it, you could go back and do a little more squiggling on top with your lightest color, that E70. I'm leaving mine as is. Now I've got a V000 and I'm flicking from the llama out. I'm just gonna give them a little bit of a halo of a background. So really, really simple. I am gonna speed this last little part up just a little bit because you guys don't necessarily need to see this whole piece in real time, but I'm flicking from the llama out. I'm getting against the llama a little more solid. Notice it's a broad flick stroke and that against the llama has that nice solid color and then it fades as it goes out and away. And I'll do in between the ears as well. And then I'm gonna come back in with my colorless blender I don't go all the way beyond the ears. I'm just trying to give a hint of a color to kind of base him down onto the paper. And I'm using my colorless blender to flick from the white area back in and circling on that edge of the V000. I'm gonna do the exact same process on that left hand side, but I'm just gonna do it with the video sped up. You guys don't necessarily need to see that process again at that speed.
As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Tailored Expressions, for this adorable new stamp set. And I just want to re-emphasize, if you ever have any Copic questions related to this video or any Copic questions in general, please attach those on the bottom in the comments, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Stop over at scrapweaver.com to see all my live doings. And please have a happy, colorful day.